out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is hurt. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Matt Johnson, this is The Deep Planet, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace the stator on your alternator on your ER6F. Uh, that'll also apply to the ER6N and the Kawasaki Versus. They all share the same motor. A few things you're gonna need for this process. As always, you're gonna want your torque wrench, screwdriver of some description, marker pen. Uh, you'll want a multimeter, some kind of silicon sealant that's suitable for a motor. You definitely want one of these. If you're in the situation where you have to replace your stator, you've probably landed up getting stranded like I did on the side of the road, and you're gonna need to charge your battery up. So I've worked through a couple of processes here just to make sure that I've done the right thing. You know, charge the battery up, check the battery, check the load on it, that was fine. Check the regulator rectifier, I had a spare one lying around the workshop, no problems there. So that left the alternator and as soon as I pulled that cover off, had a look at the alternator, you could see straight away that it was burnt out. So quite an easy process. As always, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you on the other side of this intro. Okay, so your sprocket cover comes off, and then you pull out the little lead that connects the stator into the wiring harness. So I just wanted to quickly show you what the connector looks like and how to release it. Can be a little tricky, can be a little bit difficult to get to when it's up in the bike, but you wanna push down on this tab here, maybe with a screwdriver if you can't get in there with your hands, push down on that tab and you just wanna release that connector. Have a look at the pins, make sure they're nice and clean. You can put some spray on there and just to reconnect, line them up, and make sure they've clicked in so they don't disconnect while you're riding. So once you've disconnected that lead, you can pull the stator cover off. And inside here we can see the stator. And if you look very closely, you can actually see there's some burn marks around here. So that's a clear indication that the, the stator is no longer producing the charge that we need. So we're gonna use a five mil Allen key and we're gonna remove the three bolts that are holding the stator in place. We're also gonna clear up all the excess adhesive. This bolt here, which is just a little cover that holds the, the wire in place. And that will just drop out. We're going to use a little bit of Loctite, medium strength Loctite, to ensure that they don't undo. So one, two, three bolts, and the little one that holds this cover in place. Clean up these surfaces. So the service manual recommends using a little bit of brake parts cleaner. Spray it onto your rag, and that's gonna clean that surface up really nicely without leaving a residue. One, two, three. use a new gasket for this step, but if you give that a good clean and it still seems to be intact, I've used this one previously, I've reused it without any problems. But this stuff is designed to be safe for your sensors. I don't mind there being a bit excess in there, that bleed. Nice. You do want to try and minimize the amount of excess that you have on the inside. And it's looking good. And then we're just going to put a thin layer, another thin layer of that sealant on this side of the gasket. Oh yeah. So when you pull the cover off, those will come with, and they're actually going to slide out they might drop out. So just taking note of their orientation. So you're gonna take these, these pins and slide them in. They slide out really easily. And this smaller one 
goes on the bottom. This larger one with that drive goes on the top. And then that will slide into there. And these teeth need to fit into that ring there. Now there are three sizes of bolts, so take note of them. Highly recommend that you number them. Two medium sized, one long one, and then the rest are all the same. What I wanted to show you is when you place this cover back on here, it does pull into place like that. So you just need to be careful of your fingertips. Great idea to wear gloves. I'm just gonna work our way around, tighten those bolts up to spec. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video. Peace.